In China, there is a breed of dog that can fetch over $1 million. It's the Tibetan Mastiff, which is native to Tibet and nicknamed the Tibetan Dog. These dogs have become investment tools in the past 10 years. Many people are now breeding them with one goal in mind, making large profits. They all aim to breed dogs as close to purebreds as possible. Breeders walk their dogs with confidence at contests all over China, because a prize-winning dog can get a higher price. These dogs measure more than one meter when they stand on their hind legs. They need large open spaces to run free. This top breeder has been investing large amounts to buy plots of land for breeding these popular animals. One man was lucky enough to get hold of a near purebred and join the world of breeding. We follow the lives of men who breed dogs in search of money and fame. This is the Chinese capital of Beijing. In the suburbs here is one of China's largest markets, specializing in pet dogs. A massive pet boom has taken root in China, boosting total sales in the pet industry to $6 billion annually. That's a six-fold increase compared with six years ago. The Tibetan Mastiff enjoys the highest status among pet dogs. The closer it is to a purebred, the higher the price. Most of the Tibetan dogs in this market are reportedly closer to mixed breeds, but an adult dog is priced at around $20,000. Taiyuan, Shangxi province, is located 400 kilometers southwest of Beijing. China's first international standard Tibetan dog contest was held here in February 2011. The contest was aimed at introducing Tibetan dogs to dog lovers around the world and to boost their value in China. At the venue, about 5,000 breeders gather from various districts. A breeder can raise its dog's value if it wins a place in the contest. Most participants here are professional breeders. Participation fees range from $300 to $22,000 depending on the size of the booth for displaying the dogs. Display booths are set up inside a stadium. Here, breeders display their dogs and sell them on the spot. They also make reservations for breeding. When breeders win prizes, they gain attention from their peers and get more reservations. With luck, Breeders can make several hundred thousand dollars a day. 
so they take very good care of their dogs. Before the contest starts at 10 a.m., breeders go through all the booths to find dogs to breed their own dogs with. Tibetan dogs can be divided into four types depending on the color of their coat. Black, brown, white, and mixed. The hair grows in unique ways, too. The lion type have lots of hair. Others are called tiger types. According to the Tibetan Dog Association, there are only a few dogs that can truly be called purebred. While breeders were talking business, a Tibetan monk tours the venue. <laughs> After the 2010 earthquake in Qinghai province destroyed his temple, this monk decided to raise funds to rebuild it by selling his Tibetan dog, which served as a guard dog. The contest is divided into puppies and adult dogs over the age of three. Pups are judged all in one category, while adult dogs are divided into categories by color. Judges were invited by two global dog lovers associations from Australia and the U.S. International standards used by the two organizations are employed at the contest. Winners get $1,500 in prize money, but what breeders really want is worldwide acclaim. Judging in the black dog category begins. Dogs are judged on the characteristics unique to Tibetan dogs. The wide opening between the two hind legs, bone structure, and muscular development. One breeder dominated by taking first, second, and third place in this category. Gao Wei Shu, 43, specializes in black Tibetan dogs and has been breeding them since before the investment boom set in. Yen Uar, 50, is truly proud of his top-class canines. He came to participate in the pup division. Yen's dog is named Hong Ti. He is one year old and has reddish-brown hair. Because it is very difficult to tell whether a pup will display characteristics unique to Tibetan dogs as adults, 20 pups are selected, judged on their potential. There are no rankings or prizes. Yen's pup was among the top 20. Beautiful head, lovely coat, 
beautiful bone and a nice balanced confident dog with a nice tail set. He's a young dog, he needs to grow more, uh, he, he needs his muscles to become stronger. This year, red was the popular color among Tibetan dogs. When the results were announced, many people rushed to Hong Ti's booth, including local media personnel and breeders hoping to breed their dogs. The actual breeding begins when a dog is two years old, and breeders make reservations a year in advance. Gao, who swept the top awards in the black haired dog category, was busy being interviewed by many people. His breeding ground is in the suburbs of Beijing. This is a 20,000 square meter breeding area. It used to be a training base for military canines. Gao turned it into his own breeding farm for Tibetan dogs. Gao is from Inner Mongolia and grew up playing with Tibetan dogs. He started breeding them 12 years ago as a hobby with hopes of creating purebreds. Gao owns about 100 Tibetan dogs. One is very close to purebred. Five years ago, he paid $450,000 to get this specific dog. One reason that Tibetan dogs are so popular is their loyalty. They only obey their owners. Their roughness and unique obedience appeal to owners. Gao is trying to maintain the purebred blood and characteristics by raising more pups like his valuable Tibetan Mastiff. In order to thoroughly manage the dogs, Gao has eight full-time staff on site 24 hours a day to immediately deal with minor illnesses and injuries. In the past five years, he has helped give birth to more than 100 pups, but only a handful have characteristics of a purebred. Gao plans to make a membership club consisting only of true dog lovers. Uh, 
，呃，可以做到。但是呢，他对藏獒整体藏獒的发展，他不一定啊、呃、能产生啊、呃、多重要的这个帮助啊、呃。所以我就想到，为啥在这儿找了这么大一块地方呢？就我就想，将来真正有一些志趣相投的朋友，呃，或者是有实力能够在这里为这个藏獒发展啊，能够出力的朋友。呃，选择这样的人来作为我们的会员，啊，这样的话，我们又拿我们这这么多年的这个繁育的经验来支撑他。同样呢，让他呢手里边一定有一只好品质的藏獒。这样的话，我们要有一批这样的会员的话，那实际上这是一个团队的力量。Taiwan Shangxi Province is where the contest was held. Yen Uar won the top 20 in the pup division. His day job is a vegetable broker. He buys vegetables from local farmers and wholesales them in the market. His annual income is about $10,000. He became interested in Tibetan dogs through a casual conversation with a friend. Because of the unbelievable price given to each dog, he decided to take the risk. He met Hong Ti at a Beijing breeding center when he was looking for a Tibetan pup. He was slightly distrustful of the breeder, who was eager to sell him Hong Ti. But he liked the pup so much that he paid $20,000 for it, roughly twice his annual income. He is a very good dog. He is a very good dog. 看这个头白、骨亮、个子，啊，毛，毛是红色的。我们中国人居家就红，红色的这，这这这代表的多了。He now owns four adult dogs in addition to Hong Ti. He taught himself how to breed them, and has successfully produced six puppies based on his methods. Yen's day starts with walking his five dogs. He walks them twice a day, in the morning and evening. He runs the two-kilometer round-trip route for each dog. Tibetan dogs are extremely large and strong. Recently, Yen has left his son in charge of his mainstay business and focuses on breeding. His day passes quickly with feeding and walking the dogs and doing PR. He often forgets his family commitments and gets in trouble for it. I was eight years old, this dog was a dog from the same dog. 那个大大牙狗的来给给我一一百万啊，他八个月嘛，现在八个月还长得不太完美，可现在吧长得也夸张了，现在长得比较也好。我说不是么值二百万啊，要是去了到了明年后年长得好了就是三百、五百，这不一定是多少钱，是吧？我要是挣了钱，我就到到外面买买个地，买个地方，多养它几几几十条。Yen has recently launched a website with a picture of Hong Ti on the home page. He never stops dreaming and is hoping to become the best breeder in China. The Tibetan dog industry continues to grow each year. Many individuals, including professionals and amateurs, participate. One man launched a proper dog breeding company six months ago, and is now a major breeder in Beijing. Shoulders like this, 
，坐着坐着，这这狗呢坐，这狗就得坐着，你明天就得练这个坐着，坐着，起来，这样式，起来。Wang Shudong, 39, used funds he earned from real estate investment to launch a pet shop specializing in Tibetan dogs. His services include everything from breeding, displaying, and selling them. This is the pet shop that Huang opened. Within the complex are free restaurants and lodging for breeders and dog lovers who visit. On this day, a group came to visit from Shenyang City. 两年毕业，他两年今年这帮人看房间，今年出哪儿出老好了？这两个，这两个那个，一个跟他拍俩，除了一我去了一个啥儿，北京去了一个啥儿，八方不卖。我说老四，老亮去的。哎呦！These are owners of restaurants and construction firms who plan to start breeding Tibetan dogs. They were taken to the negotiation room. On the walls are large posters of the precious canines. All this talk begins with just one dog. To realize this dream, potential breeders must first buy a Tibetan Mastiff. At the flick of a switch, the negotiation room instantly turns into a display room. 去年二十，今年提三十万。Huang <音> <这个, 音> leads the negotiation, and in just a few hours, successfully sells two pups and gets reservations to breed four dogs for over two hundred thousand dollars. Investing in Tibetan dogs is common only among a select few. But more people are getting into it with hopes of gaining wealth. The boom is nowhere close to ending. 一零年的九月二十八号到这开始开始配种到这个一月结束时候，这期间我这个几个总工啊，配种也是配了一千多万。我们旗下呃把这个藏獒啊也有出售。In China, only a select few can own Tibetan dogs as pets. Lu Chu Chung, who lives in the suburbs of Beijing, is one of them. He succeeded in making and trading industrial machinery and is now a wealthy man. Lu currently owns 20 Tibetan dogs, including one he bought for $120,000. He has mixed feelings about the recent increase in crossbreeds, but he plans to own more Tibetan dogs and continue breeding them. Uh, 
会想到那个以前在草原上所交的这样这样的账哦。咱们全中国这些养爱好者投入的财力，是人民币多少？呃，我没有具体统计过，但是说几个亿是打不住打不住的，要超过几个亿。那么这么多财力在投入这个这个这这个这个这个藏獒这个行业里面来。那么一年产生的那个好的小狗，就是品相比较好的，能达到优秀这种品相的小狗，几乎没有几条。如果就是被您发现了，呃，更接近于原始，或者的确是一条好狗的话，你也会出这么大的高的价格去买吗？那应该是，超过一千万。应该是，如果是它真是能出现原始的这种藏獒的话，我想我应该是把它买回来。In 2010, 60 Tibetan dogs were priced at over $450,000 each. And at the end of 2010, a red pup was sold for $2.4 million, marking a new record. Until about 20 years ago, no one showed an interest in Tibetan dogs. But now that China has become a wealthy nation, they have become luxury dogs unparalleled in the world. Business between dog lovers seeking legendary purebreds and breeders aiming to produce high-priced dogs is expected to continue to grow as a hot new opportunity for fame and fortune.